Hi, my name is Kate Flack and I'm the lead designer for Ultima Forever. And I'm Graham Bennett and I'm a senior designer. Uh, so we've done Alpha. We have introduced the game to people finally. Yes. So it's very exciting. Our, our first super important milestone of yeah. actually getting the game into people's hands. And getting it in the wild. Just Yeah, free range players actually coming in. Organic. Yeah, <laughs> roaming around, doing all sorts of stuff. It's r- super important. In the scheme of things, it did exactly what we needed it to do, which was get players from around the world on a variety of different machines all in the game together. Was that the main goal so far? Is it really just to stand it up from a technical point of view? Well, it was half the goal. I mean, obviously it's super important to make sure that when you're doing a cross-platform multiplayer game that you know it will stand up on people's machines and multiplayer works and everything. But kind of from a creative point of view, the reason why we picked all of the... Um, you know, the the truest kind of Ultima fans that we could find, the guys who've been keeping the flame alive for, for years on the internet, is that we absolutely wanted those guys to go in and look at the lore and look at the storylines and look at everything around the Ultima world and just really give us as much feedback as possible about it. And they did. 94 pages. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's great stuff. I mean, ranging from, you know, spelling issues all the way across to you know what does spirituality really mean and it was it was brilliant i learned a lot um you know uh, we'll, yeah, we will be making some changes <laughs> uh-huh. we, we got a lot of very strong feedback from the alpha testers about um kind of one of the storylines we'd done to do with the codex of ultimate wisdom and what we tried to do was we'd gone okay if if someone doesn't know ultima the basically the three things they need to know is virtues avatar codex and so we tried to tell the player about that in a very, very short space of time, kind of in the opening tutorial sequence, and it didn't quite come off uh, as well as we wanted it to. Um, the alpha testers, you know, were, were very strong about, you know, you can't treat the codex in this way. You can't hurry through it, and you can't, you know, it, going to find the codex is is supposed to be this huge moment. It's not about... It's not trying a not step to step in the journey. It's, it's yeah. a big thing in itself, right? So uh, you know, you, you can't make, spend years making a game about virtue and not be affected by it. So in the spirit of humility, we will change the storyline based on the feedback that the guys have given us. So um, you know, without giving away any spoilers, I think we're going to take out the uh, the codex out of that storyline and then put in probably the Book of Mystic Wisdom or possibly the Silver Serpent Ankh. We haven't quite decided yet. Writers are going to get together. I think tomorrow and hash it out, thumb wrestle or something. <laughs> it's a thunderdome. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Which is how stuff gets done in the games industry. And um, <laughs> It's true. <laughs> uh, what else? What else has changed? Uh, all sorts of things. Um, Pants for the mage. Yeah. It's trousers for the Brits, by the way. Yeah, quite a lot of trouserial based requests. Um, map donutting, which is uh, just as awesome as it sounds. <laughs> What is that? Map donutting is uh, when you jump on a ship, which you can do in Ultima Forever, um, you can sail around the world. And donutting means literally around the world. When you reach the edge of the map, you kind of donut round to the other side. Well, that technical term for that, set by our coders, is donutting. Although I do like the idea of doing donuts in a ship. I think that's something kind of pleasing about that. Probably put an achievement in for that. Um, all sorts of things like polishing our, our chat UI, um, removing the Order of the Silver Serpent law because it's later on in the timeline and all kinds of stuff. Adjusting the uh, companions as well. Yeah, a lot of feedback around the companions just to make sure that they, you know, we really hit those and get them, get them right, not literally hit them. Right, we've got we've to keep the, the same uh, aesthetics and feel that people expect. Even though it's a new visual style, there are still sort of key points that have been consistent throughout the rest of the series. Yeah. It's the balance between um, making it instantly recognisable to the old guard and making it understandable to completely new players. It, there's yeah, a lot of conventions around that. And I, think the, I think the balance we're trying to strike is make it feel Ultima but make it play like a new game. Right. Absolutely, yeah. All the virtues, all the shrines, the towns, the companions, you know, the fact that you can turn into a boat and sail around, all that kind of stuff is in there. And questing to become the Avatar is, is, is in there as well. Um, you know... Uh, I think this is shown in the kind of the almost the retelling that we're doing. It's recognisably Ultima 4, but it's 
but it's not just a complete copy of Ultima 4, it's not a relaunch. Yeah, so uh, Ultima Forever is set 21 years after the events of Ultima 4, and it's our own alternate timeline. You know, Ultima has this concept of um, sh- different shards, and this is our own shard. Like, we're not trying to overwrite the series or change anything or, you know, do away with anyone's childhood memories or anything like right. that. That's not what we're here for. We're, what we're here for is good to go, OK, we're going to take this fantastic world and this fantastic idea of kind of ethical quandaries and we're going to tell another story with it you know breathe fresh life into Ultima yeah. mm-hmm. and quite a lot of the feedback you know the kind of sign off notes from the emails and stuff from the alpha testers was you know we see what you're trying to do here you know we understand it which is well, we're really pleased because you know we want those guys to kind of be able to participate as well and go you know what you know this is an incredibly rich law look at all this other stuff and maybe people will go back and play the the old Ultima games as well Good old games. Game now. Good old games. Good com. Yeah. We just want to say thank you very much to all of our alpha testers and all of your feedback. Uh, it's really appreciated, and the things you've said will make a difference. Yeah, we, we couldn't do it without feedback from you guys. You, you've been holding the Ultima flame, and we need that help from you. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you again uh, in the next phase, uh, chatting with you online, hanging out, reading your feedback, and you know just continuing to try and make the. Ultima forever the best Ultima we can. Yeah. Keep the comments coming. <laughs>